Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to buy and sell NFTs. And I wanna make this video for complete beginners because when I was researching this topic, it seemed extremely complicated, but I really wanted to simplify it in the most simple terms. So anybody that's interested in this could learn how to buy and sell NFTs. Now, if you're watching this and you don't know what NFTs are, it's non-fungible tokens, basically a way to buy digital assets on the blockchain. Now, already I know people that don't know about blockchain or what I'm talking about may be a little bit confused. So let me try to simplify it, then I'll show you how to buy it. Imagine you create something digital, like a song or a video, or even like a JPEG image or a drawing, and you scan it into your phone. You could sell that as a collectible or a digital asset to someone else. Now, why would someone pay for it? Well, that's how this whole NFT world really began. People are willing to pay for it, and there's a big marketplace out there. In fact, there was a piece of art that was sold as an NFT for $69 million. And even things like tweets, a picture of a tweet is being sold for millions of dollars by Twitter. So there's demand out there, so I'm going to show you how to buy and sell NFTs. Now, just like anything else you buy in the world, if you've ever used eBay, for example, you know, you go on eBay, you search for th something and you see other people that are selling it and then you make an offer or you buy it now, right? That's how eBay has worked for 20 some years. Now, NFTs are like that too in different marketplaces like eBay. So I'm going to show you one of the marketplaces that allows you to browse NFTs, to buy them and to sell them too. But unlike eBay, you don't use US dollars or your country's currency to buy things. You use cryptocurrency, the most popular one being Ethereum. Now, if you've never heard of cryptocurrencies either, it's again a digital asset, an asset where you don't have a physical money back in it. That digital asset could buy things on those marketplaces. You can't use US dollars, you have to convert them to cryptocurrency, Ethereum being the most popular, and then use that to buy. So just to compare again with eBay, on eBay, you use PayPal, that's a payment transaction system, to buy things, physical items that get shipped to you from someone else using US dollars or your country's currency. In these marketplaces that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the biggest one, you buy digital assets like a JPEG or a song using cryptocurrencies, most popular being Ethereum, instead of US dollars, okay? Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you a platform called OpenSea. I'll put a link in the description to this platform. And this is just like eBay, except for digital assets, okay? Digital currencies, you could buy and sell NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Now, if I go over here and press explore, you could see it has a really clean interface here where you could actually buy and you could actually browse and look for auctions and see what's new, see what's trending and filter that way, or just go ahead and browse through them this way. There are categories and I just wanna point something out. Look at this, 14 million results. So 14 million different assets are available here to be collected or bought on this platform. And if you go to different categories, like let me go to art here, 1 million there, Domain names are available here. So you could see you could buy some there. All kinds of things like digital trading cards and you could even trade. It's not just buy and sell, you could also trade. Let's go to collectibles here just to see what's available. There's 3 million right now and I'm sure by the time you watch this, it's probably a lot more. And you would go ahead and click on one of these that you're interested in. And I wanna to explain to you what you're looking at here. This price is the price of Ethereum. 0.6 of Ethereum, a little over half of one Ethereum. At the time that I'm recording this, that half of an Ethereum is worth about a thousand dollars. So US dollars. But you can't buy it yet because let's say you're just brand new to this, you can't just pay with a thousand dollars. You have to actually convert to this cryptocurrency, Ether, and then buy with that. Okay, Ether and Ethereum are interchangeable here as I refer to them. So if you press buy now, it's going to ask you to create a digital wallet. So you need to create a digital wallet, transfer your currency into Ethereum. And just a quick disclaimer, this video is in no way financial advice and I'm not encouraging you to buy NFTs. In fact, I don't even understand it yet and I don't own any myself. I'm just making how-to videos and I make how-to videos on the latest tech, hence this video. 
So let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually set up a digital wallet here. And you don't have to use the one that OpenSea recommends here. You could use different wallets as you see over here. And on mobile, if you know Coinbase, for example, Coinbase is the biggest platform for buying digital assets. And I have digital assets on Coinbase. You could link that on your mobile phone to this as well. But I'm gonna use this. This is a Google Chrome plugin. So it's gonna be a plugin for your browser. It's available for other browsers too, just not Internet Explorer. But if you use Firefox or if you use Brave, you could use it there too. Let me go ahead and click this here. Okay, so again, you could get it for Chrome, iOS, or Android. So it is available for mobile, but I'm gonna get it right here on Chrome. And I'll press get started on it. And you could see, you could create a wallet or you could import a wallet if you already have a wallet. I'm actually just gonna create a wallet here and you need to create a password, so let me do that. And then I just skipped a couple of pages here, but it did ask me for a security code and it gave me a code that I should not share. So make sure you correctly save that somewhere and type that in. Okay, so I just added this wrapped ether too, but we wanna worry about Ethereum and then later we'll have to convert it to wrapped ether, which is kind of Ethereum, the same exact value, just better for transactions. But I need to buy ether, so I'm gonna click on it and I need to buy right here. And there's a couple of ways to buy ether as well. So you could go ahead and do that here. With this platform, you could actually continue to this platform to buy Ether directly with a debit card, okay? Or you could do this platform with direct deposit Ether too, if you already have some. So if I type in, uh, let's say a thousand US dollars, it will tell me how many I will get at the time that I'm recording this. So this does shift all the time based on the prices, uh, price of Ether or Ethereum here. So if I wanna just buy like $20, for example, I could just type that in and I get 0.1, okay? Then it's gonna tell me the transaction fee here is $5 and the network fee is $7.99. Pretty steep for buying Ether here. And you would go ahead and type in your payment method over here as well. Let me go back here to OpenSea. And if you click over here to go to your profile, it's gonna ask you to sign into the Meta Wallet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and it's gonna go ahead and connect things up now. So now I have my own dashboard here and I got nothing because I haven't had any activity yet, right? So nothing is going to show up here. But if I go to browse and let's say I'm gonna click on this random one here and if I try to buy this now, just like that, it's gonna now take me to checkout. I already have a wallet. I don't have any money in it because I, I didn't wanna pay the transaction fee. And I could also connect my Coinbase later to this since I have Ether there and I could buy with that instead of paying that hefty transaction fee, I could go ahead and add funds. And again, it brings you back to the same page. So that's the process of buying NFTs. So just go to OpenSea, then go to MetaMask, make a MetaMask account with a Chrome extension on your computer, link that to OpenSea and then transfer some funds so you have some Ether to buy with. To create, if I just press create here, I could go ahead and start creating and create a storefront. I have to just press create right here. And let me go ahead and name this. And press create. It says the logo is required, so let me put a logo. Here we go, I'll press create now. And now I have a collection. Let me go back to my collections just to show you. So I created a collection and then I could sell items in that collection like digital creations or anything like that to be sold as NFTs, okay? So let me jump back in here and I like to add an item. So image, videos, audio, 3D models, whatever I want, PNG, JPEG, MP3, all these file formats up to 100 megabytes are accepted. So if I wanna sell an NFT right now, I could select this. And let's say I wanna sell a YouTube thumbnail. So I'll just select this right here. Here's a YouTube thumbnail. And I could go ahead and name it YouTube. Okay, so you just give it a name here. The more descriptive, the better. Description will go over here. And then you could give it more of this detailed information here. If you like, I'm gonna skip all that. And then the supply, how many is for sale? You could see right now, since it's a unique item, I could only have one of them. Only one copy can ever be minted, okay? So I can't have multiple versions of this. But then when I'm all set, let's see, I could go ahead and press create. 
And if I press visit on it, it's going to just take me to that page. And I could just go ahead and press sell right here. So right now I could set a price. I could do an auction. So the highest bid will win or bundle it. Okay. And this is just like, again, I mentioned eBay a few times. If you ever use that, you could get an idea of how that works. So uh, right here is going to have a fee. Listing is free. At the time of the sale, the following fee will be deducted. So 2.5% is what OpenSea will take. And OpenSea rewards 1% to register affiliates who register. So let's say a fixed price of 0 0.01. So 0 0.01 Ether, post your listing. And here's the part a lot of people skip here. So I need to buy something called gas in order to use the blockchain here and to use this platform or really any platform that sells NFTs. The gas fee here is $116 and I don't have any money. So I can't do this without having to pay for that yet. Once you do, it will ask you to confirm. So I know that's a bit frustrating if you're just trying to sell something or trying to even see if anything is going to sell and you want to try it out. Gas could be really, really expensive on these platforms to sell NFTs. And that's just gas goes to operating the blockchain. So you really can't bypass it here. I haven't found a way that you could sell anything without doing that. But once you have enough money and you could actually set this up, you just press confirm and then it will take you to the final page of basically selling this item and beds will come in. So it's not really worth throwing anything up there and hoping for it to sell because you're going to pay for the gas and the fee associated with selling actually happens after you sell. But listing says it's free, but you do require gas. So let me just tell you more about what gas is here. So it says before you could list an item for sale or accept an offer on OpenSea, you need to set yourself up for trading. There's no charge from us. So you, the listing is technically free, but there is a fee a one-time gas fee, network transaction cost, to initiate your wallet at blockchain level. Okay, so here's how that process works. So you can learn more about it here if you like. Their Q&A section is actually really, really useful here. So definitely do uh, read more. But this is a beginner's guide, so I'm not gonna go into the details, but this is one of the most unfortunate parts because the gas fee is pretty hefty here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.